it's over. That was the most pathetic, disgraceful performance I've ever seen in Laker history. The Lakers looked so defeated out there. I wouldn't be surprised if ESPN sends an alert that the Lakers forfeit game four and the Nuggets advance in the second round indefinitely. Because if you are LeBron James or Anthony Davis, what can you possibly say about this game? What good can you bring out of this game? That it's not over yet? No, it's fucking over. You're done. It's over. We're getting swept again. 0 and 11 against the Nuggets. We have not beaten this team since 2022 when Russell Westbrook was wearing the Laker jersey. The team quit. The team quit in the fourth quarter. Every single shot Michael Porter Jr. made was sucking the life out of them. Every contested jump shot he made. D'Angelo Russell, what, what happened, man? What the fuck, bro? How do you expect me to have faith in y'all if you quit? You quit on the team. During a timeout, you were sitting away from the team chewing fucking gum. Zero points. Zero points. Are you kidding me? 0 for 7 shooting and then you gave up and then you left the bench with like two minutes left in the fourth quarter i didn't see you on the bench at all where did you go did you go to the locker room get your shit packed and bought your fucking first class flight to china because that's where the fuck you're going but he's not the only one no 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 really hachimura don't think i forgot about you bro i've never seen you play this bad ever since you joined the lakers this is the worst i've ever seen you play what is going on out there you're a liability on offense and defense and then austin reeves want to show up with like two minutes left in the fourth quarter dude a little too late my guy that would have been useful at least like in the third quarter when the game was still winnable and then gabe vincent fucking useless bro lakers stop signing guards from the miami heat because they love to scam us this is the second time we got scammed by the miami heat lakers do not accept anything from the Miami Heat unless Jimmy Butler, Bam Adebayo, and Tyler Hero are involved. And then Spencer Dinwiddie, with his best game ever as a Laker, eight points. And then Anthony Davis, bro, are you tired? When the fourth quarter comes, are you tired? Are you drained? Because you dis this is the second game in a row, AD, where you disappeared in the fourth quarter. What is the deal? Why do you stop scoring in the fourth quarter? What? is Dark Benham drawing on that fucking clipboard of his. All that shit talking you were doing in the offseason AD. All that shit where, oh, we remember what Denver did and we, we want them. We want them. Well, you got them and once again, they pound your ass. Absolutely pathetic. That was, that fourth quarter was even worse than game two's fourth quarter because you could just tell by the body language and the attitudes of the Lakers that they quit. Aaron Gordon chewed them up like they were a piece of jerky. Literally, he bodied everyone on the court. Offensive rebounds, second chance points, out hustled the Lakers in every single possession. And then Michael Porter Jr. made every single jump shot, every single contested jump shot. No matter who was on him, he was making it. And LeBron, I, LeBron at least was trying. He was trying in the fourth quarter. He's the only one I felt like who didn't quit. Everyone else, their body language said everything that they needed to know about the Lakers. And then Darvin Ham. And Darvin Ham, enjoy game four because that's going to be the last game you're coaching. You better just sit there and let the players coach because you know your job is over with. You know you're not coming back next season. You stand there every single game with your fucking hands in your pocket. And then when you have the clipboard, you're just sitting there doodling, playing fucking tic-tac-toe by yourself. You don't call timeouts when opponents are going on big runs. You don't make any defensive adjustments. You don't make any offensive adjustments. The Lake Anthony Davis is right. When the Lakers play, they look like they don't know what they're doing out there. It's because you don't make any plays for them. You are sabotaging the Lakers. I feel like you get a kick off watching the Lakers suffer. That's why you don't call timeouts because you know Laker Nation hates your ass and you love to watch them suffer And that's why I feel like you love to watch the Lakers get ass blasted go down 20 go on in the letting the opponents go on big runs Oh my god, we need a new coach and we need a new coach now Lakers sign Mark Jackson We need a real coach 
three games in a row, Lakers blew double digit leads. What the hell is going on out there, man? Real talk, I'm not even gonna lie anymore. I felt like we should have let the Pelicans beat us. We should have let the Pelicans beat us, and then we would have played Sacramento, we would have kicked their ass, and then we would have been playing the Thunder right now, who I felt like we would have had a better chance against. The Denver Nuggets love to bully us. They're not even taking us seriously. Michael Porter Jr. is running his podcast during the series. That should tell you everything on how the Denver Nuggets feel about facing the Lakers. Lakers. Your mission this offseason is to get rid of D'Angelo Russell. That's it. He has no more chances. Get rid of D'Angelo Russell. Get rid of Gabe Vincent. Get rid of Rui Hachimura. Honestly, we should have traded them at the deadline. But no, that's when they wanted to show us their worth. But then when we actually really need them, they disappear. Fire Darvin Ham. He is done. No more. And then Spencer Dinwiddie, get your ass out of here too because you're gone. If I'm LeBron James, why the fuck would I want to come back to this shit show of a team? Especially if Darvin Ham is still going to be coaching them. The last time I have been this angry about basketball was ever since J.R. Smith's blunder back in the 2018 finals. The Lakers should be ashamed of themselves, especially because of that second half performance. I can't believe they quit. They didn't try. Every single shot the Nuggets made was draining the life out of them. Every single shot, man. That's all I can really say right now, man. Absolutely pathetic. I'll see you guys on the next.